Hello Traps and welcome back to another Tino Detailing video Well, we'll show you guys the day in the life as a mobile car wash in London So the first car of the day is a G-Wagon It's in for exterior wash with a green snow foam So let's make our way there now The second car we have booked in for today is a Rolls Royce. It's in for an in and out clean. So be sure to stay to the end of the video so you can see how we maintain it. I'm now going to show you every step of how I took this G-Wagon from this to this. So let's take a look at the condition of this car. Not in the best conditions, right? Let's get to work on this bad boy with step one of this job, the pre-wash, which is sprayed onto the car. For every car, I use two different type of chemicals, one just for the wheels and one for the paintwork. For the first step, I rinse the car off with my pressure washer. So you may be wondering, how did I get into the mobile car wash business in the first place? My father owned a car wash for 20 years, so since I was a teenager, I have been working there during my free time, mainly on a weekend. But when I got older, I got a job in construction and I missed washing cars. So this made me want to start my own car wash business. So I came up with the idea of a mobile car wash. I have used all of the tricks and techniques taught for my dad, combined with many new ones which I researched online to do the perfect job for my customers. And now I have created this YouTube channel to share all of my car wash and detailing secrets with you guys. Next up lads, the green snow foam. Honestly, I love coloured snow foams. They make washing cars even more fun. Even a dog was loving it. Look how satisfying it looks. As a mobile car wash, make sure you have your business cards ready as you will have loads of people asking for them as you are washing cars, especially when the snow foam is on the car. For this wash here, at least 6 people asked me for business cards. Sorry mate, do you have any business cards? Yes of course, I'll get you one now. So here's my number, let me know at least a week in advance and I can book you in. We also have an Instagram page. If you want to see a lot of unique and exotic cars, be sure to follow us there at Tino Mobile Car Wash.
I next remove the green snow foam from the car. Just look how the snow foam clings to the car, pulling that dirt right off. Chaps, be sure to give this video a like. Next step is hand washing, as I shampoo the car going in straight lines to avoid swells. As always chaps, the best thing to do is to go from top to bottom, as the bottom part of the car is closest to the ground and always collects more dirt. Now comes the final rinse off. As a mobile coach in London, you get to see a lot of beautiful and interesting places. Also chaps, any questions you have for me, leave them in the comments below as I respond to every comment. I now dry the car with a microfiber drying towel and a blow dryer. Blow drying your car is very useful as it stops the water from leaking when you drive off. I also clean the windows to give it that streak free finish. Next up are the wheels, which are finished off as I also shine the tyres.
finally lads i do a final check using a detail spray to go over any imperfections and apply gloss and protection to the car to keep it in perfect condition here are your results enjoy just look at that crazy shine we have turned this g-wagon into a mirror Okay, the next customer chaps has a Rolls Royce and it's in for an in and out wash. So let's make our way there now. Here's a pro tip. When I book my customers, I try to book them in, in all similar areas in a day so that I'm not on the road for hours and hours. This allows me to wash a lot more cars in a day. In this wash, there'll be no music. I will put the camera on my head and you will experience exactly what it's like to wash a luxury car. As you can see, the Rolls Royce is covered in a small film of dust and dirt. I will now begin with the wheels and show you how to give them a proper detail. So I begin spraying the arches, wheels and tyres with all purpose cleaner to loosen up the dirt and brake dust. When you arrive to the customer, always inspect the car first. I noticed straight away that this Rolls Royce had chrome rims. You have to be very careful with chrome rims, as certain type of chemicals can damage them. Next, I use my pressure washer to blast off the majority of the dirt, including on the inside of the wheels. Now I snow from the entire car, including the wheels. So as the snow foam sits on the car and drags down the dirt, I get to work on the wheels, tyres and arches using many different brushes.
Also chaps, a van tour will be coming in the future. So subscribe if you want to see that. Now I rinse off the entire Rolls Royce. Also, what do you think of its design? Let me know in the comments below. Next step is hand washing, as I shampoo the cog. As always, I use a soft car wash mitt. I also use a detail brush to get into areas of the cart which my mitt won't reach. Next, I reverse the Rolls Royce to get a new angle on the wheels before I do a final rinse off. Now comes the final rinse off, removing all shampoo and dirt from the car. I always use purified water while washing cars, especially in the summer as normal tap water has minerals and chlorine, which is what leaves water marks when it dries. Pure water leaves no water marks.
I next drive the Rolls Royce. Which do you prefer, Rolls Royce or Bentley? Let me know in the comments below. I move on to the interior and do the vacuum. These Rolls Royce carpets are very thick and plush. Very luxurious but needs a lot of time to vacuum as small granules of dirt can get stuck inside of the carpet fibers. When vacuuming white leather seats, you need to be very gentle as there is a possibility of leaving marks if you are aggressive with the white leather. I then proceed to do the windows and then the dashboard. The customer spends 99% of the time in the driving seat facing the dashboard, so it better be perfect, as any mistakes you make will be spotted sooner or later. Once the rest of the interior is finished, I perform the final check on the vehicle using a detail spray to give it that final shine. Finally, some tire shine and a quick wipe with a microfiber towel to finish off these spokes. The Rolls Royce is now complete. Take a look at these awesome results.
To finish the day's work, I do my chores and get things ready for the next day. So chaps, that's all for today's video. This has been a day in the life of a mobile car wash. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and here are two more videos that I think you would like.